DSP tries it. Hello, everybody. DSP here, and welcome to another edition of DSP tries it, where I try out. New items, mostly food, but every once in a while something different. And this time around, we are doing Arby's again. This is an item that I've seen on their menu for about a month and a half now, but have not got around to doing a DSP Tries It on it, okay? It's a new sandwich in a line of what they're calling Mega Stacks, meaning overstacked meat sandwiches. It's not the normal portion of meat that you would get within a sandwich. And there's three different varieties. There's a, what they call triple stack, which is roast beef, ham and turkey on some kind of like a deli style bread. There's a super stacked Reuben, which is basically their Reuben sandwich that they already have, but with turkey added in addition to the beef or the uh, corned beef or pastrami, whatever it is. <clears throat> but those aren't the ones I, I selected today. Today I picked the cl stacked club or the club stacker or something like that. So what is this? This is ham, turkey, lettuce, tomato, bacon, cheese, and a little bit of mayo on the top, and there's also some on the bottom. I actually checked it on the bottom too. <laughs> on this specialty bun, it's very different from their standard sesame seed bun. Looks like it's more whole grain and a heartier kind of a bun, you know, easier to grab and probably easier to taste and eat the sandwich without it falling apart in your hands. So as you can see, <clears throat> it is a pretty Hefty sandwich. I mean, there's a lot of meat on this thing. This is a huge, this is a meal in itself. Look at the amount of meat that is stacked on this thing. It's, an, it's pretty incredible. So I'm going to try it out, as usual, here on DSP Tries It. And let you know what I think. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you, there's actually so much meat on the sandwich, it's actually hard to contain in my hand and bite into. So it's kind of more of a balancing act between everything here, I think. Hmm. I'm actually going to go around to this side, because this side actually is the lettuce and tomato, and I think the bacon is nearby. Yes, it's nearby. One thing about Arby's bacon, it's peppered bacon. It's not that applewood smoked that's everywhere else right now. They have their own style of bacon. I actually like it because it tastes a lot different than regular bacon. All right, so here we go. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Well, hmm. I can definitely tell you this, the taste of the ham is smoky and it overpowers the taste of the turkey. As you can see, I did get both in that bite. I really didn't taste the turkey that much. It was mostly ham, a little bit of lettuce and tomato, and actually the mayo I could taste, and the cheese as well. So I'm gonna try another bite here and see if I can actually get into the bacon that's on the top here. Mmm. Well, hmm, it's good, but I have a couple issues with it. Number one, even with the amount of mayo that they put on this thing, it still tastes kind of dry. And I think the reason is because there's no, it's not like a sauce, it's just mayo, and mayo can be very thick. And so it doesn't really distribute well when you're eating it, and you end up with a drier taste, and especially because of the fluffiness of the bun. Remember, I said this is not a standard sesame seed bun. This is their new kind of multi-grain bun that they're using for this sandwich. And it does get kind of dense and almost dry in your mouth as you're chewing. I can definitely taste the ham. I can definitely taste the cheese. And I did get a bite of the bacon. I can even feel it a little bit on my tongue now, the pepperiness of it. But I can't really taste the turkey. And as you can see, they did. They put significantly less turkey on it than they did ham. The ham is like all over the place. So a little bit more balance in the meats would have been nice. Um, the other thing about it, which I haven't mentioned yet, is the price. This sandwich costs three, I'm sorry, excuse me, that would have been wrong, $5.50. Now that's here, and I know there are markets where probably it's even more expensive. So five to $6 for the sandwich. It is a hearty sandwich, it's a meal in itself, but may leave you saying, wow, that's a lot of money, especially if you wanna get the combo, which ends up being probably eight or eight something after tax, okay? Um, so I don't like it. But I don't love it. I think that if, if they readjusted a little bit, a little bit more turkey, a little bit less uh, ham, and maybe instead of all mayo, put some kind of a different sauce on there so it has a little bit more moisture to it, it'd probably be a little better. Overall, I'm going to give the Club Stack sandwich from Arby's a 3.5 out of 5. Good, but could be a little better and it is a little bit on the pricey side uh, for just one sandwich. So, All right, that's going to be it for this episode of DSP Tries It. See you next time.